Hello, Kulas. Welcome back to Viva Barca, the home of everything Barca. In this episode, we are going to be discussing on some interesting stories for FC Barcelona. We are going to begin with Memphis Depay and his post-match reaction. You know, after the game against Villarreal yesterday, which we won three goals to one. Of course, Memphis reiterated on the fact that he needs to score more goals because we saw a lot of chances. Clear-cut chances that Memphis Depay missed yesterday and of course he admitted after the game that he needs to score more goals. So we are going to be discussing on everything Memphis Depay had to say after the game. Secondly, talking about Vice President Rafael Euster who have just recently responded you know, to the latest on Ferran Torres to FC Barcelona because all these days we have been hearing the rumor mill talking about this highly transfer speculation of Manchester City forward Ferran Torres coming to FC Barcelona. We are going to be discussing on what Rafa used to have to say on that rumor. So guys, as we get ready to discuss those stories in much detail, please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed, give this video a like and make sure to watch this video right up to the very end. Memphis Depay completed his 90 minutes versus Villarreal with a goal to his name after an underwhelming performance. The Dutchman was eventually awarded the man of the match, but it does flatter his performance. All said though, it did help Barca take the lead and register a 3-1 win on the road. You know, talking to the media about his goal in the second half, the Depay said, I saw that the goalkeeper came out of the net and at the moment of the split second I trusted my intuition, I didn't hesitate. His early miss in the game was a major talking point after the game. The forward missed a 1v1 situation that should have been buried 9 times out of 10. The pipe concurred, you know, but said he always worked hard to give his best. He said, I know that situations like that normally should be a goal for me and I keep working hard to provide for the team. That's what we need. Speaking about his difficulties in front of goal, the Dutchman was optimistic that he looked to score goals for the side. He said, We sometimes suffer for not being able to score goals. Especially for me, I expect myself to score and, you know, put a high expectation on myself to score goals. I need to score more goals and the team needs it. The team have struggled in the closing minutes of the game in all of the past three encounters, right? Xavi already acknowledged that Villarreal did not deserve to lose the game and Memphis Depay replied to the same, you know, beat of the drum, saying that, as you can see, we are not safe with a 1-0 lead. Last game against Espanyol, we kept the lead. Today was a little bit tough because we considered in the last stage of the game, but I am very happy with this victory. Memphis has now missed 9 big chances in the league this season, the joint highest. If Barcelona wants to compete for the podium spot, he needs to bury the chances he gets. Real Betis at home next in line for Barcelona. Then moving on to the next story of discussion. Barcelona Vice President Rafa Juste was asked about rumors that Barcelona are trying to sign Ferran Torres from Manchester City before kickoff against Villarreal and admitted that there has been contact between the clubs. Barcelona are said to have been secretly working on a possible deal for months. Juste didn't want to give too much away but did admit CEO Ferran Reverta had paid the Premier League champions a visit. He said, Ferran is a great player like others. We are working with discretion to seek the best for the club, he said. We simply have friends at City, there is a very good relationship and Rivetta has paid a courtesy visit. That's the word from Rafa Euster. So reports of Barca interest in City first broke on Friday and have continued over the weekend. It's been claimed Torres is pretty keen on the move to Barcelona and Man City may not stand in his way if he wants to go. The problem, of course, is going to be how Barca can possibly finance a deal given their precarious financial situation. City has set to run around 40 million euros and Barca would surely have to offload players first before that can happen. So Colors, with that we come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you did enjoy the video and also hope you did subscribe. If you haven't, please make sure to subscribe so you always stay up to date with the latest on FC Barcelona. Yeah, on Viva Barca. Until next time, bye bye.